hi guys and welcome to my youtube channel my name is Nomonde Huma and thank you so much for hitting the play button if you're new to the family please hit the subscribe button down below and if you are returning thank you thank you thank you so much for taking time out to look at my videos please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's get into today's video so, as you have seen by the title I just want to share my 20, <clears throat> 23 reading list and in no particular order and I hope you guys don't judge me in the books that I decided to read. I am in no desire to um, disclose any more of why I want to read these books and please be respectful in the comments if you feel like there's uh, some un underlying um, reasons why I'm reading this book which i would like to keep to myself because it's private i'm only sharing this so we read together and i encourage you guys watching to also find books that you will be committed to reading in the year 2023 um so some books i've already read and some i'm still going through so this is my 2023 reading list and the very first book that i read this year was Please don't butcher me by this pronunciation. I'm going to try my best. It's Beauchamp Paul, yes, by Danielle Steele. Oh my God. I loved every minute of this book. When they say someone writes very well, I understand honestly why this lady is a bestseller because sure, this book was easy to read even painting a picture of where everything is taking place was such a breeze and such a beautiful fairy tale to read and it's about a lady that is in her late 30s and she just feels like you know what life is not giving you know life is not giving and she's obsessed with um watching a series called butch and paul that is um being shot in the united kingdom and she lives in in america and she just takes a leap of faith and what a beautiful book to read i absolutely loved it oh and i wish the same could happen to me but in any case um i highly recommend this book this was also a book um that was not on the list of books that i wanted to buy I just saw it at CNA and it was on special and I love that I took it. The second book, woo! Hi Connor. Finding Me. I will do a book review on Finding Me, but this is what I read. Um, also earlier on in the year uh, I am three quarters I have one folded page I, I'm f like I have just this tiny bit still to read but shoo sure, man yo this book I will find um, time to shoot the video of this review because I think this book needs to be discussed in length but not today. The next book that I am reading, please take a guess. Ta da! <laughs> ah, the 48 Rules of Power. I call it. Now, guys, you know when they say you mean business, you, you're reading this book. And it's so funny, I bought it in. I bought it on take a lot um in feb yeah and it took a day for it to be delivered and i'm pacing myself with this book i don't want to rush it because it's one of those books that will form part of your tool yeah yeah this book will form part of your toolkit um in your career in your life 
and really how to navigate through these murky waters called life and people so i'm really pacing myself with this book i'm not in a rush to finish it because i've read it before so this is my second time reading this book and i first read it in 2017 yeah someone gifted me the 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 electronic version and i read it i wasn't really into it but now like i'm into this one because i have a hard copy and i've also watched a an interview of the author robert green and <laughs> he said people perceive his book as a dark book and there's nothing dark about it which i hmm, i think i agree to some degree not fully but you know a lot of people have read this book and i'm also one of them i'm reading it for the second time and i can't wait to give you guys like a full review of it and then second last book that i'm reading in 2023 it's td jakes don't drop the mic the power of your words can change the world so td jakes um published this book in 2020 i think late 2020 um and i think this is a book that he wrote um while we're going through the pandemic and um i'm in the first chapter <laughs> I'm in the first chapter. I haven't gotten in in into it, but I know when I when I'm in. Yo. I know when I'm in, I'll probably be crying, you know. But this is what I'm committing to reading and finishing. Um I saw reviews about the book and they say that it's spectacular. Also, it's hard to read because you know how td jakes gets he he gets real like real real and i think i need to read this book i need to read this book because i've had it for seven months i've had this book for seven months and i haven't read it and i think now it's time for me to get through it and the other thing that i've learned about books is sometimes the timing of reading a book is not the right time and sometimes the timing of you reading a book is late so i don't want to get to that point where i'm like why didn't i read this book and i had it for two years so this is not one of the books that i will be leaving in my cupboard for too long without reading it i'm definitely gonna finish this yeah and last but not least <laughs> I'm gonna read The Man Diet I'm gonna read Man Diet guys because Njolo is not for some of us and I'm going to read it for the umpteenth time and I hope once I'm done I will be no I'm not wishing for anything I'm just going to read this book again and please don't comment down below saying nasty things while I'm reading it I've read this book over and over and over and over and over and over again. And Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. And I hope you guys get to reading as well and share your 2023 reading lists. Uh, please comment down below. Hit the notification button and also subscribe to my channel. And let's grow this beautiful family till we meet again.